Good morning and happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. For my mobility this morning, I wanted to focus a little bit on my shoulder, ribs, and forearm. I woke up with some numbness and burning in my hand, um, which happens sometimes, usually when I wake up. So I'm not sure if it was more neural tension um, or just some positioning, kind of giving me a little bit of that dead arm feel. So I was gonna start off just opening up the front of my chest because I was sleeping more on my side last night in this closed position. Um, so I'm gonna use the vibration ball, the vibe ball from Trigger Point. And just getting on the front of my pack um, and front arm line. It makes me sound funny when I talk from the vibration. Um, but just gonna spend about a minute here Working on the front, finding some of those spots that are tender. You can spend a little bit longer on it if you want. Go through and fire up uh, the back arm line while you're doing it. Getting under that clavicle there in the front. Putting some weight into it if you can tolerate it. Then I wanted to move into some thoracic rotation, but also gonna do a little nerve glide while I'm in there for the arm, and I was gonna add in the pods to it. So a little decompression of the tissue. We'll see if they stick. If your skin's a little dry, you might have to put some lotion on to get them to stick a little bit better, but I'm just going down that front arm line track to see if that will help open up The burning is gone, but often I can reproduce some of it with some pressure here. Because think, we're using our flexors all day. So now I'm just gonna go onto my side, but then from here, I'm gonna open up and get some trunk rotation. So trunk rotation, you should get a nice pec stretch in the front, but I'm also getting a stretch, you can even add in some little flossing with your hand. There, so reach and then open. You can even add in a little, bring the leg up and over. That will lock out lumbar spine a little bit. You can even come down, do little snow angels in there. But biggest focus for me was trying to open up the chest to get a little bit of trunk rotation. It is a little tight. I should be able to get that shoulder on the ground if I show you from the other direction. From here, I would love to have this shoulder all the way down. If I do it on the other side, still a little tight and I can feel it through my rib cage. So that's something I can get on the foam roller and work on this lateral line a little bit in the back. I can also do some band assisted rotations to help with the rotational component. So they're starting to pop off. I can get in there, do a little extra over pressure and just glides in different directions. I'm gonna add one more in, in here by my pronator, because often you can get a little pinch of that median nerve by the pronator and flexor digitorum in there with all the flexing that we're doing all the time. So think of it, gripping the barbell on our phones, on the computer, gripping anything, driving, we're always in flexion. So a lot of times this side gets tight, this side gets a little bit weak. So try to decompress that tissue on the finger and wrist flexors while I work on some rotation, pec stretch, shoulder stretch, thoracic rotation, all together. So it's nice when you can start to stack, one, the different tools we're using, and then two, our movements to tackle more than one thing. So give those a try. Go ahead, open up the chest, and then work on that thoracic 
rotation. If you have the pods at home, go ahead and give those a shot. Sometimes that decompression is all you need to help with that tissue gliding a little bit better. So give those a shot, shoot me a message if you guys have any questions, and I hope you have a fabulous day.